Hey guys, Captain Jimmy Armour here with American Fishing Charters out of Tybee Island, Georgia. Today we got my good friend Lauren, Tig Lauren Tignor out here, if I could talk. Um, six months to the day of her original transplant, guys, if you guys have been following this story. Single mom, attorney, went in for a checkup, had to get a new liver and kidney. Um, out of nowhere, there was no symptoms or anything, so everybody get your checkups. Um, we went on w <laughs> we went on WTOC Live uh, a couple months ago, did a big benefit. Um, September 17th, she's getting her new kidney. So 19th. 19th, 19th <laughs> my bad. Um, Lauren, what are, you, what are you excited to be out here? I am very excited to be out yeah? here. Yeah, you excited to get a new kidney? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to get our son back out here. We had him out Saturday, if you guys have seen the pictures. If you guys have not already done it, go like on Instagram. Tiggy needs a kidney, and she's going to be posting on there. She's pretty much going to be living in Atlanta for quite some time after the transplant. So uh, as soon as she gets squared back away on that and uh, healthy out of that tunnel, whatever you want to call it, we're going to get her back out here and do an update. So let's go see if we can catch her at first Kingfish. Fishy, fishy. There you go. Keep reeling there while you do that. All right, here. Let me see him. Meet me on the other side. Okay. We'll leave that other live bait out. See if we can double up. Oh, oh, just steady reel, steady reel. Don't jerk it. Don't jerk it. You like that? Yeah. You pull the hook out of them. I didn't tell you that. That's my fault, guys. You've heard me talk about three billion times keep tension on the line and never ever ever set the hook i forgot to tell her that so that's my fault because that's what will happen right there you get that fish foul hooked you pull that rod once pulls it right out and now we have one less sandwich Boo. Boo. but let's do it again guys we'll get fish. this one. i hope that's a spanish got to keep reeling sweetie got to keep reeling got to keep reeling do not let any slack in that line there you go there we go. Guys, notice how she's keeping reeling, not letting any slack in that. Oh, there's some slack. It's all right. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Get ready to go low with that rod tip. Go, in, go, go low. Go to the water. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Don't stop reeling. All right, get on that side of the boat. All right, when I say rod tip, that means drop the rod tip into the water. All you're going to do is go bloop and let him swim. So now I'm kind of raised back up. Let's get some tension on him. There we go. It's a kingfish. Oh, 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 oh. We got him pinwheeling. We got him circling. Oh, no, that's just a big Spanish that was angry. I like that. We're in the boat. All right. That is a big Spanish. My God. Whew. That, that is a big Spanish. Look at those treble hooks right Nowhere near his mouth, guys. That's why he was able to swim from us like that, get my heart all pumped up and whatnot. Whew. I'm gonna have to go to the cardiologist after that one. Let's get, look at. All right, finally hooked up on a big fish for Lauren here. Rod tip up, keep him 45 degree. Rod tip up, rod tip up, rod tip up. Put pressure on him. All right, you're at a stalemate. Just let him run. Pick, lift, put pressure. There we go. Get a couple cranks. Get a couple cranks. There you go. <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> he is angry. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we came to do. All right, guys. While she's drilling this fish in. Did you want to thank WTAC or can you do two things at once? I don't know, man. <laughs> thank you, WTAC. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah! That Cuda is screaming. There we go. Goodness gracious. Working all day to try to get a big fish. I wonder if a big kingfish. I'll always take a Cuda. He's tired now. He's tired now. 
You might see the bear get another little burst. I see him right there. Keep reeling. Don't stop reeling. You got him. You got him. You got him. Keep reeling. Keep going. Keep reeling. <laughs> Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh. Oh, he's fighting again. That's okay. Keep reeling. <laughs> Keep reeling. Keep, get, go low with the rod tip. Go low. You got to go low now. Keep reeling. All right. Got to keep it low. While you reel. All right. He's swimming out. He's swimming out. All right. Rod tip. All right. You're good. You're good. Now you're clear. Woo! All right. There stop reeling. Is. Stop reeling. All right. That. Oh, look at that. Barely hooked. Barely, 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 barely. All right, guys, we were riding back in, finished for the day, and we saw a school of what looks like cookie cutter Spanish, and I couldn't stand it, had to throw at them. So let's put a couple, whoa, get away from that jellyfish. No, I don't want to get stung today. Goodness gracious. There's a cookie cutter Spanish. Lauren, a Spanish you caught earlier? This uh -huh. is an average size Spanish. That tells you how big those are. Well. All right, guys, we're finished up fishing for the day. We saw something floating. The first thing we did, we made sure it wasn't a kilo of Colombian Bam Bam, because if it was, we would have called the Coast Guard. So now what we're doing is just grabbing this beach ball, guys. We see balloons, beach balls, all kinds of stuff out here all the time. I'm trying to talk and drive the boat. I'm not very good at it. I have yet to see a straw out here although i hear they're a big problem i get real curious with the restaurants that serve plastic cups and i wonder how many straws it takes to make one plastic cup we'll save that story for another time guys when you're out here seeing stuff float around take an extra five seconds and grab it guys we don't need plastic floating around out here in the ocean we got to conserve it for our future generations hope you all enjoyed the show and we'll catch you out here next time